the, the introduction to, to peer assessment and those attributes. So, so we, have, we have a system that assesses students based on 10 attributes. Five are around contribution to task, and five are around um, team leadership and harmony. And what I like to do at the, at the outset is, once the, team, once the students are in their teams, is to assign them, I, I hand out the rubric and say, okay, team, team one, you guys are in charge of telling me what it looks like, average or normal, yeah? What are the behaviors that you would expect to see for initiative, this is a Likert scale, uh, and average and normal for three and five. And I, and I hand out that task to all, this, all of the teams so that, that at the end of it, we have a completed co-created rubric that everybody understands, ah, if I want to get a five for focus, I need to do X, Y, and Z, right? Or if I do this, I can expect to get a three. So if you can do a five and a three, then students understand, well, okay, so it's not quite a five, but not quite a three, so it's a four or less than that, right? So all you need to do is have them complete the, the three and the five. You've got a co-created rubric. Off you go, right? So students have a, a shared understanding of what needs to happen and what needs to take place in order to be a good team member. These last five, you can see our focus, encouragement, welcoming listener, and harmony. And all of those things, I think, when, when, when brought together, uh, help establish a, a, a sense of psychological safety if everybody's doing that well.